whilst munching on those candy canes. Emily realizes that she forgotten about the dinner with her friends. There's even a reminder in your calendar. I hope you still got enough candy canes ready for tonight's dinner because we're about to turn them into something sweet and merry. Start aligning them around a can one by one. Now tie it all up with a fancy red ribbon. But what's important is in the inside. So throw a flower vase in there. All right, now we've got some Christmas table decorations ready for tonight's dinner. Feel free to customize the formation of the canes. What a jolly looking dinner table. But it gets even merrier with all the girls sitting together by it and enjoying their Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Sprinkles falling all around me. Only a small amount of those colorful goodies actually landed where they're supposed to be. While the remaining ones are no more. At least not for culinary use. Is there a way to use them elsewhere? It seems Emily would love to play a bit more with these magic snowflakes. Grab an empty plastic ball and split it open. Cover the inside with a layer of edible lacquer spray. This is where the shower of sprinkles show up. The lacquer is sticky enough. Use that by moving the sprinkles around. Soon, you'll see a colorful layer covering the surface of the plastic ball. Repeat the same with the other half and make it whole again. All we need now is the tip of the ornament so you can hang it on your Christmas tree. Play around with different colors and sprinkles. You'd want your Christmas to be as colorful and merry as possible, right? Mmm, yum! Halloween is long gone and you still got your spooky pumpkin wreath hanging on the door, Jess. We will have to work on our upcoming season decorations a bit. Santa Claus is coming to town after all. Let's see what we've got here. Those neighborhood kids have taken all the sweet treats from it. There's a whole bag of candies ready for this craft that we're about to witness. Firstly, let's get rid of all the spooky props off this wreath. Just a naked old hanger left on it. Not for long. Tie a ribbon on the candy and fasten it onto the hanger. Repeat it a lot of times. Use up all the candies if you want to fully cover your wreath. For an extra merry touch, add a huge ribbon on the top. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere we go. Pasta is the best emergency solution for a festive dinner that you're supposed to prepare. Not the case when you struggle to open the jar though. Oh no, no, no. Well, now you're doomed. How are you gonna surprise your family now, Emma? These adorable wagon wheels might turn into something magical. Try connecting them using drops of hot glue. Start playing around with all the different shapes of noodles to form miraculous patterns. We're giving you ideas, but in the end, it's all up to your imagination, folks. Just don't forget to cover them in shiny shades like silver spray paint. Stick a red ribbon on the peak of it, and we're ready to hang these shiny pasta stars onto your Christmas tree. Wow, you even managed to make a garland out of bow tie noodles. With such glitter effects, you would never suspect these were supposed to be your dinner. <laughs> From a mini Christmas tree to a wreath, anything's possible with a variety of simple noodles. Jessica is fully in the Christmas mood. The tree just needs some shiny accents and we're done. Sadly, it seems that red is a bit too much for this composition. Is there any way to use something else for a shiny touch? Christmas candies seem to always have bright wrappers and this shade is just what Jessica needs. Collect the sweets, don't rush into eating them just yet. Cut off the unnecessary labels. Add a drop of hot glue on the bottom of it. This is where you begin arranging them on the tree ornament. Make it look spiked and sparkling with the shades Jess needs. Don't forget a ribbon if there wasn't one before already. And now we're ready to hang it onto our Christmas tree. The sweet and unique tree ornament is perfect for Jessica's final composition. Just the Christmas spirit we needed. Madison is also researching Christmas decoration ideas while munching on a candy cane. It seems she may have just found the perfect plan in case you have an overload of candy canes. Let's get crafting. 
add drops of glue on both ends of a candy cane. We'll begin connecting them, forming a heart shape. Do it until you finish a circle. Add some candy coins on the center and on the sides as well. Tie a big red ribbon on the top of it. You will want to use that for hanging as well. Now hang your sweet festivity on the door. I hope the sweet tooth neighborhood kids won't try to munch on your wreath though. <laughs> Summer's long due, so let's get something merrier out of this pool noodle. Make a ring out of it by connecting the ends with some tape. Run to the forest and start collecting pine cones because you will need a bunch of them. Add some ash berries for a brighter accent. Lastly, use snow spray for a proper winter vibe. We're done! Santa will notice this door for sure. Hey crafty pandas! I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. Did your hanger break down? Great! Form a circle and start beating the ornament balls onto the wire. The more, the merrier. Attach a big bright ribbon on top and we're done. Remember Santa, room 32 is ready for your visit. We've got an idea on how to use an old hula hoop. Grab a long garland and begin wrapping until the loop is full. Use white tinsel to make it even merrier. White colored ash berries should work perfectly for a shiny touch. You can hang it above your Christmas Eve dinner table, along with some extra ornament balls. There's always a billion excess straws hiding somewhere, right? For starters, let's crop a ring out of paper. Using your good old hot glue gun, stick the straws just like that to form a sun. A second layer will add something magical in there. You'll need some decorative pearls to make the center of the circle shiny. Voila! I wish this pool noodle was a candy. Sure thing! Circle a layer of white paper tape around it just like that. I think we need some green shades there as well. A line of double-sided tape will be perfect to make a rolled lollipop candy. Using scissors or anything sharp and thick enough, pierce a hole so you can insert something like a broomstick in there. Now, take a plastic wrapping big enough to cover the whole candy and tie a ribbon to fix it. We've got a garden decoration ready. Be careful though, it's not edible. <laughs> Where shall we put these plastic bubbles? Add a variety of acrylic paint inside and stir them up a bit. Close the bubble and shake it. Create your own colorful Christmas tree ornaments instead of buying them. Let's turn those plastic straws into something pretty. Start binding them up using a zip tie. Arrange those sticks in order to form a sun. Now give it a shiny paint job and we're done. You can always make the size you need for your Christmas tree. If you wish to decorate your tree with something sweet and crunchy, start applying butter on the inside part of a shape cutter. Fill them up with sweet peppermints. Then put them in the oven to melt them. Using short thick straws, pierce some holes inside the sweet mixture. See? Have a Merry Christmas with these sweet and jolly peppermint decorations. Try using a toilet paper roll by cutting it into smaller strips. Now start sticking the pieces together and let your imagination take over. Whether it's a flower shape or a star, anything works. Just don't forget the shiny spray paint and a tiny ribbon. Do you feel the Christmas vibe already? We can use almost anything as Christmas decorations. Give those bottle caps a second life by arranging them any way you want. Just be sure to apply a dash of glue and a short string. It was a pile of junk just a second ago. How many people does it take to make something pretty out of those old light bulbs? Just paint them and sprinkle some fake snow on top before drawing it. Have a Merry Christmas, Crafty Pandas! Happy Holidays, Pandas! I hope you enjoy these Christmas hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos, hit the subscribe button, and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.